Okay, here we're going to do a river problem. And for this problem, we want to get across the river to a dock on time. You can see the uh, start. And there's the dock. We have to go 65 degrees upstream. So this is 65 degrees right here. Our speed is 80 kilometers per hour. And the current uh, is 25 kilometers per hour. So there's your 25 kilometers per hour. What velocity and direction must the boat travel? So with this, this is a lot like um, any non or a, a force problem right here. We look at this and we realize that if we want to get to the dock, we're actually going to have to go in this direction here so the current can carry us downstream. So what we will do is we'll divide, uh, we will find the force components. Um, first the 80, I'll just draw, redraw it over here. This will be the 80 and it has a Y component and an X component and we'd like to find those and this angle here is 65 degrees so I'll write um, X and Y here uh, this is the 80 kilometers per hour so just put this right here in our little chart and the first step I look at the Y it's the opposite side so I'll say sine of 65 is opposite over hypotenuse 80 or 80 sine 65 is equal to y. Punch that in the calculator. 80 sine 65 and that is 72.5. Uh, direction I just need to kind of keep uh, track of that. 72.5. Um, next I want to do the find out the uh, x component which is right here that'll be cosine 65 equals x over 80 math is very similar punching this in the calculator and that comes out to be 33.8 33.8 now you have to think about this a little bit we have the 25 uh, kilometers per hour component this has this right here has no x or excuse me has no y component so that is zero so my total for that column is 72.5 and then it does have a 25 x component I have to think about that a little carefully even though the arrow is indicated to the left I have to go to the right to counteract that so in this case I'm actually going to uh, add those together with that so all right and if I do that, we would have 33.8 plus 25, and that's 58.8 in the x direction. Okay, with that, I'll come over to the other side, and now essentially, I if this is my, I'll just kind of do like a coordinate plane system here, I have an x value of 58.8 and a y of 72.5 and this is really how the boat would have to row so now we're just going to use Pythagorean theorem c squared equals 58.8 squared plus 72.5 squared uh, math wise I take the square root of each of that so now we're going to punch that in the calculator That comes out to be 93.4 kilometers per hour. That's the first part of my answer. I'll put a little star by that because I want to. And then I want to find angle theta here. I can use however I want, or whatever I want with that. I'll go tangent. Tangent of theta is opposite, which was 72.5, over adjacent, which was 58.8. And this will be the uh, inverse tan. And that came out to be, it needs to be smaller than 
65 because you have to go upstream. That came out to be 50.9 degrees, and it is. So my final answer, 93.4 kilometers per hour, 50.9 degrees. And then I should use a direction, so I will say upstream. And that is how we will do a river problem.